Hello and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. I am Craig. Well, I'm going to do another solar panel review and I'm going to do the biggest solar panels I've ever reviewed. This is Renogy's 550 watt per panel bifacial panels. So in total, this is 1100 watts. Biggest panels I've ever seen. Also, the first time I've ever done a bifacial review. Now, I've owned these for longer than I've ever had a review because Renogy asked if I'd like to review these. I said, sure, and that was in September. But by the time they arrived, it was November. And the structure I've built to test panels where I can lean them off the grass is uh, too close to the fence. And in the, in the Canadian winter, the sun's low in the sky and I was getting shadows off of a shed here and a fence that was always on the bottom portion of these panels. So unfortunately, Renogy was, well, wait till you have full sun. It's now late March and we have full sun. And I just want to say, I'm consistently getting in the 960, 980 pretty much all the time that I am completely in the afternoon when I'm exposed to sun. Right now it's around 120, so the sun's just a little bit off what would be perfectly perpendicular. If you've watched my other episodes, I do the soup can test where I put a soup can. If you don't see any shadow around the soup can, then you know you're at the perfect angle and that's when you're gonna get the best results. But even if it's off a little bit, these panels do amazing. And I think it's mostly due to the fact that it's bifacial, which means you're not only getting voltage from the voltaic cells on the front, but if you come around to the back here, you'll notice, well, you'll definitely notice if the, there's ever shadows on this, that these are actually sort of transparent a little bit, where um, the, the sun or, or the reflected light from the back that goes up here and hits this actually gets captured as well, giving it an extra percent of efficiency over normal solar panels that only go from the front. So I'm gonna go in the office now and give you the full specs, but I just wanted to show you, this is the way I've laid it out with a static structure. It was just easier this way, but, I plan to build a structure that's a rolling structure where I can turn solar panels to face the sun in that perfect perpendicular angle. We've also bought some rural land where I'm gonna take this to and I'm actually gonna permanently set it up on a rolling structure so I can move it throughout the day to match at this, where I've got a little more space than this little backyard. So look forward to that. Okay, here I am in my office. I'm just going to bring you through some of the specs of these Renergy panels. I went to the American version of Renergy. There is a Canadian version as well, but I think more of my viewers are American than Canadian, even though I am Canadian. Uh, so let's go with the American one, just so you see a price. They are on sale right now, up to 35% off, which is nice, $1,199. So as you can see, these are this is for a pack of two. So this is exactly what I showed you outside. It's two 550 watt panels for a total of 1,100 watts. And it's got the added bonus that it is bifacial. So you're getting a yield of up to 30%. And that's, uh, if you're into solar panels, you'd know what that means. That's actually really good. Most solar panels are that are only one-sided solar panels are maybe 22, 24%. This gets you up to 30% of the, uh, I guess the strength of the sun gets converted into electricity, which is very, very good. Uh, more energy, even in particularly shaded areas. That's something with the, um, a lot of these cells are in parallel. So if this little corner down here happens to be in the shade, then you still get good results. And I can attest to this, because like I told you, maybe I'll throw some, some images on the screen of me having this even during the winter time. And when it was winter time, these bottom uh, cells were almost always in shade. Or even because I have a shed to the right and my house, unfortunately, if I ever did this again, I would buy a house with the backyard facing south, but of course my backyard faces north. So when the sun comes up in the morning, my house shades the entire thing. And then even in the early you know, noon time in the winter, I had that shed that was shading the right side of the panels and the fence was shading the bottom. So at any given time, I was only getting some of the panels in sun and I was still bringing in really good, really like really good for me uh, results, like four or 500 watts, even though part of the panels were in shade, which is, uh, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. So uh, when they gave them to me, I told them, look, sorry, you, you get, got them to me too late. Now I can't find a spot. I, I can't put these in my front yard because I live in a suburb and they would probably get stolen. So I have to leave them in my backyard. And unfortunately my house shades your panels for most of the day. So it's not a really good time to test them. They said, okay, that's fine. You hold on to them and do your, re your review in the spring. And therefore I have a lot more months of testing of this. And these things have been awesome. Like I said, when you do get that perfect perpendicular angle on a sunny day, I'm bringing in nearly a thousand watts. I know I've seen 880, 890 a bunch of times. And that is damn good because 
again, you're never gonna, these are statically mounted, so you're never gonna have them perfectly perpendicular to the sun. There's always gonna be the sun's either coming from the left or the right or a little too high for the angle you've got them at or a little too low for the angle you've got them at. So you can't expect if you've got 1100 watts of panels and you've just mounted them in a static position that you're gonna get 1100 watts. There's always gonna be some loss due to the fact that you don't have the uh, perfect angle of the panels to the sun. So let's, that's it. So yeah, I was very, very impressed with all the months I've had them. Just showing you, this is why you need to mount these things up off the ground. You've got the sun coming in from the top and you're also getting refracted light coming in off the bottom. Obviously the sun from the front is much stronger than the bounce back light you're getting on the back, but it is a benefit nonetheless. And hey, if the price of a bifacial isn't a lot more than a single sided solar panel, I would always go bifacial now that I've experienced it. Uh, lots of 13 years off the grid, up to 30% more yield, IP68. Now that's the good thing about these versus some of the folding solar panels I've showed you in the past. Uh, glass panels, they're built with solid aluminum frames and the glass is glass uh, and they are designed to be outside in any weather. You never have to take these things in. Uh, what I do plan to do when I mount mine on that rolling structure I was talking about is I do plan to mount them with some sort of leg system where I can actually adjust the angle and then it'll be on wheels so I can actually turn it to match the sun. But IP68 just means they're waterproof. We're not water resistant, waterproof. The folding panels are uh, water resistant, which means in a light rain they'd be okay, but if you leave them out 24 seven and snow and rain and all this stuff, you will ruin those folding solar panels. These solar panels stay out in any temperature. So again, bifacial gives you a yield of 30% direct sunlight, uh, diffuse sunlight. Oh, that's right. Cause I told you they're almost like transparent in that you can, when you do, you'll notice if you have shade on the panel, you'll notice that the parts that aren't shaded are lit up quite brightly on the back and the parts that are shaded are darker. So it goes to show you some of the light transfers right through into the cells on the back and then the sun reflected off the ground. So they're showing you a standard panel that's 550 watts versus a Renergy by facial panel, the difference in wattage you're going to get. And this is kind of cool because it. It's hard for you to know when I was out there, how big am I? Am I six, seven? And I, those things are actually monstrously huge. I don't know how tall this guy is, but as you can see, when you, this guy's installing them clearly, these panels are really, really big. <laughs> so here you go, 44.65 inches tall, uh, 89.72 inches wide if you mount them this way. I have them mounted vertically, but uh, yeah, you can mount them. If you wanted to put these little uh, aluminum legs, you could mount them one beside each other, uh, on the ground like this. Uh, one thing about being on the ground though that I would keep in mind if you're a Canadian or from the northern United States where there's you know a fair bit of snow, the lower you have on the ground, the more you have to go out and shovel around the base to get the snow to not block the sun. I had that problem because I have them just on a deck with some wooden um, uh, blocks at the front to stop it from sliding out. Unfortunately, I didn't think about as soon as it starts snowing, I'm out there on my deck with a shovel shoveling the snow in front of it to make sure that the snow is not blocking the solar panels. But once you do get it cleared out, one good thing about snow is it's bright white. Therefore, the sun not only hits the solar panels, but the sun is hitting that bright white snow and reflecting that light onto the panel as well. So winter time is actually a very good time for solar. And also solar panels actually get less efficient if they get too hot. And that's not something you have to worry about in the winter. Now they're showing ground mounted uh, this is what I would do because like I said, if you do residential roof, yeah, you have to mount it like that. You can't mount it like this flat against the roof. Otherwise you lose all the benefits of bifacial. Plus then there's not much airflow and the panels can really heat up and that uh, takes away some of its efficiency. And this is sort of what we've already said, built to last in any weather. It can handle, now they're showing panels against the roof. This could probably be a picture of one of their panels that's not bifacial, but they're just showing it can take the snow load uh, and um, the pressure of winds. Uh, 5,400 pascals, I think that is, uh, or 113 pounds per square foot of snow or weight and in wind, it can take 2,400 pascals or 50 pounds per square foot. So that's just showing you these are not flimsy panels that are going to snap the minute they get blown. Like if you have them mounted like this, you would mount them at the corners or whatever so that it's structured. But the parts that aren't supported in the middle are not so loose and floppy that they're gonna bounce around in the wind. So you can be pretty confident these things are not 
uh, lightweight. They're actually, I don't know if it says, maybe up here in the specs, um, see specs. So yeah, weight of the panel, I believe that's per panel, 58.4 pounds. So here's some of the numbers that some of you uh, solar panel nuts likes to know. The max power is 550 watts, of course, short circuit, 14.05 amps. Optimum operating current is 13.11 amps. Maximum series fuse is 30 amps. Operating temperature is anything from minus 40 Fahrenheit, which is also coincidentally minus 40 Celsius, or to a maximum of 185 Fahrenheit. I don't think there's anywhere that you would live as a human being that gets to 185 Fahrenheit or 85 centigrade. It just goes to show you that obviously if you mounted these on a hot black shingle roof, it could get really, really hot up there, but these panels could handle it. Although again, I wouldn't mount them on a roof. Open circuit voltage, 49.95 volts. Open operating voltage, 41.97 volts. Maximum voltage, 1500 VDC. Module efficiency, 21.3. I guess that's from the front because they were saying before that it's 30% efficient. Uh, performance warranty, five year, 95% output. 10 year, 90% output. 25 year, 80% output. So glass panels can last you 30, 40 years. They're just saying that over time, the warranty only covers if they uh, are up to a certain percent. They will over time decay and they will lose some of their efficiency, but there you go. And they're 9,000, ISO 9001. But getting back to the weight, 58.4 pounds. So if you're mounting this on a bracket system, you just wanna make sure you're not mounting it on some super, super flimsy um, aluminum that's going to bend under the weight of the, not only the panels, but the, any snow or wind that's pushing on it as well. So there you go. I have been immensely impressed, like the most impressed I've ever been with any solar panels with the structural rigidity and the efficiency, even with slight shading on these. And I just wanted to bring that to you. To Renergy, if you're watching, uh, you know I would have loved to do this review many, many months ago when you first gave me this. But if nothing else, it's given me the opportunity to really test these for a long period of time to see if any sort of issues came up. And I can attest to the fact that no issues have come up. And I wish I had more of these panels. I might have to talk to you about buying <laughs> additional panels because, uh, yeah, I got that rural property and as much as two panels is awesome, 1100 watts, wouldn't I love to have four panels or six panels? So uh, yeah, anyways, I would buy these for sure. Again, looks like there's a sale, so there you go. I'm giving this two thumbs up and that's probably it. I guess you're not gonna see my sh smiling face because I don't have anything to present you physically in my office like I usually do. So all I can really do is give you the specs and my opinion of how this has performed long-term. So that's it. If you found value in this, show the channel some love by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you, I always say safe cruising, but when we're talking solar panels, there's no cruising involved. Just stay safe.